I mean, look at that tiny, tiny shield. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Black Widow movies Crimson Dynamo Waves Black Widow. If trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out. Link in the description below. And while you're down there, why don't you reach over and hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos coming up in the future. And this looks really cool already, even though she has a little dot in between her eyes right over there. I hope that's not actually on the figure. Hopefully it's just dust. Anyway, nice image of Black Widow right there on the side. I really like that a lot. And you get the same similar style artwork right over here on the back, which I do dig. And then you get a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. Then we get Black Widow again. Nice spot varnished Black Widow logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Black Widow out of the packaging, looking awesome. I gotta say, right off the bat, this may be the very best Marvel Legends Black Widow figure out there. Not certain right now, so we'll find out in just a moment. But we get some nice looking accessories with this figure. So let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Natasha. So unlike the Taskmaster figure, Black Widow does come with a Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure piece, which I'll show off when I review that figure. But as far as Black Widow goes, we get two sets of hands, fists and weapon holding hands. She comes with her own guns, which is great. And then we have these batons right here as well. And I gotta say, aside from some minor imperfections here, I do like these hands. Now, the weapon holding hands have a hint that move horizontal and then we have the fisted hands that have the hinge that moves up and down you can see the gray paint right there on the hinge eh, it comes off just a little bit so be wary of that but I do like the sculpt for these little hands and she comes with her own little guns too which is great I really like these a lot I'm so happy that they've done this because yes we have holsters on the side that function we don't have guns that are not removable figure comes with her own weapons and everything. I feel like it's just been a long time since I've seen a new Black Widow figure with guns like this, so I'm super stoked about this. This is really, really cool. And these holsters hold the guns very well. Uh, the only time that they really fall out on me is when I actually pick at them and then they fall out. So see, as I shake, the guns stay in the holsters. So that's awesome. Shake, shake, shake. And then you can see we get these batons right here which are drastically warped because I did find a way to port them all the way through this whole backpack piece, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. <laughs> So from what I was able to notice in the trailers is that her hair didn't really look like this. I mean, it looks like this in Civil War. This movie takes place between Civil War and Infinity War. And oh my goodness, I'm so bummed that they pushed the movie back. They had to. It's all for a good reason. But seriously, I want to see this movie so bad. But anyway, you do see her with the ponytail more than anything else throughout the trailer. So maybe the Hasbro team had just gotten info that the movie takes place between Civil War and Infinity War and went with a head sculpt that would look best to suit that. I don't know. But I do like how the head sculpt came out. I think it looks great. It definitely looks like Scarlett Johansson. I really like how the hair is sculpted and painted as well. I do have a little extra dot thing right over there. That bothers me. There is a little dot in between her eyes. I tried scraping off. I wasn't able to get to. But other than that, the photo reel tech on this just looks stunning. I think they did a good job with it for the most part. But yeah, you can see that we get three different tones in the hair. I really like that. You can see the bright tone, the mid tone, and dark tone. I think that's just the nature of the wash going through that sculpt. But I do like it a lot really nice color hair I like that and I like how her suit looks too I like how she has these added like pieces right over here like containing her girls right that's what it looks like they're like extra under control right there uh, you can see that we get these shoulder pads right here that look really good I like the little touches of red on the side that looks great right there I really dig that then here's looking at the backpack piece and she has these ports for her batons which looks pretty good I really like this red trim that we're seeing right here too that looks sweet so uh, getting into this man oh this is really tricky I've seen a couple other reviewers try to do this and they were not successful but I was able to figure it out so uh, you can see how it's all warped right here and by the way these are supposed to have a little touches of red at the end of them as you can see in this pic right here there's some glowing red at the end of these batons but it's all right they still look pretty good they're made out of a very soft material what i found to be helpful is really trying to pick this uh, this bottom part of the pack away from the body of the figure and it's tricky to do one thing you can do to help make that happen is grab the butt end of one of these and try to jam it into this bottom hole right here which yeah, I know just doesn't sound right but you can see that's kind of like splitting it or you could use something else to try to split that apart right over there from the bottom but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this on camera without removing the head sculpt so you can get one in there 
uh, nice and easy peasy, and you can see that. No one has a problem doing that. It's getting the second one through is the tricky part. And just to be clear, this is going to run this way and shift to this side. So you want to scooch it this way when you get the second one through here. And you can see the top port right there. And boom, there we go. And I was able to get both of them in there. Now this is all after I went through the trouble of kind of splitting this apart. You may want to heat it up a little bit or something, but hey, it is doable because I did see in pictures these batons go up to about the ear of Black Widow and the other characters that have these batons. So yeah, it was just bugging. Looking at the rest of the figure, you can see that we get a lot of gray and black mixed in, and I really like this color palette for the character. I think it looks really good. I love seeing the gold right here, especially next to the Widow symbol or with the Red Widow symbol over the gold. It looks really good. I like these holsters. Again, this is just absolutely fantastic, but I want to look at the arms. Uh, we do get these elbow flaps, which I really don't like. When you bend the elbow around, you get these things sticking out. That bothers me. I love that they added the gold right over here to her bracelets. That's really cool. If you didn't know that, these were inspired by Spider-Man. Like in the comics, she was originally inspired to create these because of Spider-Man. I think that's really neat. And then, yeah, I love how these holsters can shift up and down. Basically, you know, when you move the joints around, it's not going to get stuck. This will slide up and down the leg. Looks really good. I like that. Nice Natasha Romanovs right over there. They look perfect. Like that. No complaints there. Knee pads look really good. I like how the boots look as well. Nice straps and buckles and laces throughout right here. And we do get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So I definitely had a lot of fun posing the figure around. I just have numerous frustrations with the articulation on this piece. Anyway, you can't get the head moving up too far at all. There is a neck hinge in there, but uh, this hair is very stiff and I could barely get her to look up like just that much. So she's like not even really looking much up at all. Uh, you can't get the head looking down very far though. It does shift forward and back like a power driver. You get side to side motion. Her hair will run into these batons but they're very soft. I don't feel like they're going to break on me. I just wish this hair was a bit softer though. A little bit of head wobbling. Not much. Shoulders move outward that far. You can move them down. Rotate a full 360. Single jointed elbow. Uh, it's, I mean it bends in more than 90 degrees but I did find myself having frustrating moments. Very frustrating especially when you swivel the elbow side to side right here. Uh, that just could look really ugly sometimes. I don't know. I just don't really like it. Man, uh, can't wait for those double jointed elbows, Dwight. Cannot wait. I went over the wrist articulation. You know, they all swivel side to side. These hinge, the other ones have the horizontal hinge. You do get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. Great diaphragm pivot. It does look a little choppy over here with the sculpt, so it doesn't bother me too much because I'm able to hide that in a lot of the pictures I took, but I can see how that bothers people. I also get a little bit of scuffing right over here on the front. Uh, you can get her to bend back very far and she does crunch forward a little bit and and you also get hips that move out very far and she will kick up that much and I do have a lot of chewing going on right here on the upper inner thighs right here that's just very frustrating it bothers me it kind of can play it off as wrinkles but it's definitely there and I wish it wasn't uh, the legs can't really move back much at all uh, you do get an upper thigh cut double jointed knees and there is this extra plastic right here in the knee joint so that's a little bit irritating so yeah it doesn't look too bad though when you get the x mani heel to butt right there right and then you get ankles that move down they do move up and she has ankle pivot that kind of moves a little bit more like a side to side swivel more than an actual ankle pivot so that's another very frustrating thing you guys know how much i love my ankle pivot and this is just not the best ankle pivot so all these complaints aside i still had fun posing her around though now to measure out this black widow figure you could see that she is barely standing over that six inch mark. And then for a Marvel Legends Black Widow figure comparison, you can see that we have the Winter Soldier Black Widow figure, which is our first finally getting a Natasha Romanov MCU figure that took us a long time to finally get one, or it felt like it took forever for this to finally come out. And then we also have the Infinity War version without the vest. I cannot find the vest. Oh, I need to find the vest, especially before I review Yelana, which is going up tomorrow. And then we have the Endgame two pack with Hawkeye with the interchangeable heads with Nebula. And she does look more like this so far from what I've seen from the Black Widow movie, so I want to see a head swap. And that doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good, actually. I really like that a lot. A little inaccurate with the bits of blonde at the bottom right there, and that looks pretty good too. And these double joints look pretty good as well. I, I don't have a problem with these double jointed elbows, but yeah, I, I don't think that these single jointed elbows really look that great. No. Nah. You know, I'm kind of just realizing right now with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you could wipe off this white paint right here at the end. I don't know, that could give us a more screen accurate version. 
Holy crap, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I have two of these head sculpts, so I don't mind taking the paint off of one of them. But yeah, I feel like this is a more legit Black Widow movie head sculpt. I'm really stoked about this. So this will probably be on my display shelf. I like it. I have to show a head swap with the Winter Soldier figure. And wow, wow that's perfect. Jeez, uh, the skin tone matches and everything. That looks fantastic. And then to compare this movie Black Widow next to a couple comic versions, we have the Toy Biz Black Widow Peggy Bundy figure, and then we have the first Hasbro black suited Black Widow from Hasbro with the Chimbomba Rosadas. And I gotta say, it's not really a big deal that she's not all chesty as before, because back in the day, Black Widow didn't have such a revealing suit, you know, so it's cool that they go back and forth with it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I would prefer the chest lock off, but still, you know, it's still cool. And then here's our Legends Black Widow movie figure next to the Age of Ultron Marvel Select Black Widow. I did sell my Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Black Widow a little while ago. But yeah, I definitely have enough Black Widow figures for a Black Widow party! Yeah! I got red in my ledger. 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 I got boobs. And then here's Black Widow next to our not Captain America Civil War Hawkeye figure. Uh, they never released one for Marvel Legends, so it'd be great to have a Civil War Hawkeye to go with this Civil War era Black Widow, right? But anyway, this is a kit-bashed figure. And then here's Black Widow next to the Captain Marvel binary variant figure, and I think the Black Widow movie is going to perform a whole lot better in the box office compared to the Captain Marvel movie. I don't know. I suspect. And then here's Black Widow next to the only other figure from this wave that I've reviewed. We have Taskmaster. And two things I did not mention in my Taskmaster review is that he does have elbows that bend backwards. I, I think that's just really weird that you can do that with the figure. Then another thing, I guess there's this rumor going around that Taskmaster might be a female character in the MCU. Um, you know, the answer to that really is to just freeze frame all the butt shots of Taskmaster. Just stare deep at the butt, you know, and you'll be able to tell whether it's a male or female character. And then if it ends up being a dude, well, it means you're gay. Joking, I'm just joking. It's just having fun here, okay? I'm trying to have a good time, you guys. And then here's the movie Black Widow figure next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big-time badass Spider-Man. Aw, look, the girl Avenger finally got her own movie, and she's got her new jewelry over here. Aw, it's pretty gold, so you can look pretty for your- ah! So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And a big thank you to all these people that support this YouTube channel over on the Patreon. Now this figure, I had a great time with. I complained about the articulation a lot. I think that's the biggest downside, but I still really like this piece. I like the color palette. I just think it looks awesome. And we get the proper gun storage, even though in the size comparisons she was missing a gun a lot of the time. But anyway, I think she looks fantastic, man. I'm really happy with the figure, and at the price point, around 25 bucks, I'm gonna give her a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to stay up to date with me over on the social media, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm just... Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.